time. Now, an article in today's Sun has been examining just how unhealthy getting hitched might actually be, especially if you're the bride. The drawbacks of getting married for women can include reduced life expectancy, not really, just feels that way, uh, high blood pressure, <laughs> as well as having to deal with a man snoring. Mm -hmm. In contrast, the groom will only have to face possible weight gain and a weaker immune system. So that's even if you actually do manage to get it up the aisle. But when it, when it comes... <laughs> It's supposed to be very good for your health. <laughs> so when it comes to um, <laughs> to getting wed, what are your health warnings and well, telling them? Um, exactly. It made me laugh, you know, that I thought it was very interesting. One of the other things was, you know, fewer illnesses for women, though, was a good thing. Mind you, you don't have time to be ill, do you, once you're married, picking up the socks and staying awake with the snoring and all the rest of it. <laughs> but, um, and somebody actually told me a lovely thing the other day about marriage, which was, for better or worse, but not for lunch. <laughs> Which I think is very interesting, because that means you should have the chance to go out away from your partner, loved one, husband, and have a bit of a life from time to time on your own, which I think is the secret healthy. of a successful healthy, marriage yeah. and very healthy. Um, and and well, I, as John Collins says, two bathrooms. Two bathrooms. No, no, I think you could have a bath. That's marvellous to be cleaned together. <laughs> I don't think she meant the bath. Oh, OK. Um, <laughs> <laughs> lovely. Anyway, but the marriage, the marriage itself is, can be very stressful, can't it? The actual day, getting ready for the day, can be a bit of a pain, frankly. Yeah. And I, I do think that there's an expectancy from young women now. It worries me slightly that it's all about the day and being the princess in the white dress without actually remembering and pausing for thought about what you're taking on. You know, and if you read this yeah. article in the survey, oh, I hate surveys, but, you know, it's hard work being married. Yes. And it's lovely that everybody has their day, and I think that's marvellous. And But when you're dressing up and doing the whole business and getting stressed and rowing with your auntie Ethel, because actually you haven't got room for her or you've forgotten her, you've got to remember that it's about a commitment mm. to mm. somebody else for life. Mm. That would be my... I'm, I'm, I'm well aware of that, and I'm, you know, dying to be married. But I'm not yet, and I do. I wish I had a pound for every time I got asked, "When are you getting married?" When are you getting married, Kara? Well, oh, because there's another pound. Um, we don't know because that oh, is stressful. Stress. I think it's going to be more stressful getting married than actually being married. You know, being married. You know, we might as well be married now. But getting married, and and the problem with me is that my first wedding was so awful that I want to go completely the opposite to that. And, you know, we want to do something that kind of means something a little bit more than going down the local registry office and, and yeah. getting second-hand confetti thrown over you. Yeah. So I want to do it... Like, if there was. <laughs> oh, no, absolutely. Um, and I'd like to do something big. But as, as you say, it's... It becomes too big. And then, you know, where do you want to go? Do you want to go abroad? Do you want to do it at home? Do you want to have, just have family there? Or, you know, what does family entail? Then everybody wants to come. And it's just... And it, I don't know! Oh, it's, it's <laughs> we very, don't know. It's a very stressful time. And I must admit, it is... It, I think also a lot of people are under this illusion that the whole excitement of getting up to a wedding is going to continue. But after it's all finished, mm. there's like such an anticlimax that you come down. For the down. next 30 years. Exactly. I mean, I've known so many girls who, who, who left, you know, to go and live with the... And, and they sobbed for months oh. because they thought, my mum's not here to do it for me. It's me, isn't it? It's have, me. You thought, <laughs> have you thought about your wedding yet? Because no, we I, think about know, it all the time. I, I can't even think about that stage because I come out in hives I actually because I'm such a bad <laughs> I'm not very good at marriage and I've always said you can't be good at everything Jane, no. you're what, what such a your good organiser when we saw Jane when we saw you at the London Palladium you were absolutely fantastic and you organised all that and a wedding would be a doddle after organising yourself yeah, to sing in yeah. front of 2,000 people for absolutely. goodness sake it's all about organisation and yeah. then if you're ahead of yourself you just enjoy the day enjoy the person in front of you and just do that bit and everything else falls into place I do want to marry him more than anything in the world it's just the thought of the wedding that is just, uh, it's just 
not up there. Do you I think that do might it. have something to do with what happened at your last one? Yeah, I married the wrong bit. person. Didn't well, yeah. I? <laughs> in front of what? How many people? I oh, know. Yeah, so but many I did that to million. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I just thought I couldn't. Yeah. No, no, oh. no, no. I'm getting. Oh, she's getting high. Me. <laughs> don't make me do it. Pink spots don't match orange, so no, we'll move they on. Don't. Okay. Now, if you're not completely.